Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book haul. Um, this one's later in the month because I was able to stretch out my uh, my budget, my book budget for the month. Next month is going to be super, super thin as far as the books go because I have a engagement in Hoover, Alabama where I will be selling books. So all of my money I'm having to front the money to buy books to sell there, buy my own books to sell there. So we might not have a book haul at all next month. So this one's a pretty big one though. Um, I got a lot of cheap stuff, got a lot of cool stuff, and I wanted to share that with you. So right off the bat, um, I got, I've been meaning to get this one for a while. I'm a big fan of David Joy's writing, his articles, um, and his uh, nonfiction, Going Fishing, I think it's called. Hang on. Let me get y'all right. Let me, let me, let me, let me do y'all right. Growing Gills, A Fly Fisherman's Journey. I, li I like that. Um, so, David Joy's Where All Light Tends to Go. This is the first of his fiction books that I've read. I think this is his debut novel. He has one more after this, and then he has a new one coming out in July. I'm looking forward to. So, that one. Next up, we have... I already did a... There's a review. I've already read this one, too. Fantastic book. Um, I recommend it. Go out and get it. Um, the review's coming up on the channel very soon. If it's not already up, I'm not sure what order I'm going to put this in. Next up is Our Kind of Cruelty by Araminta Hall. Um, if anybody knows how to pronounce this lady's name, please hit me up. Because um, I really feel like I'm not saying her name right. And Laertes, stop laughing. I know you're out there laughing about this because it's like a running joke <laughs> that I don't know how to pronounce people's names. Anyways, another fantastic book. Already read this one. Blew right through it um, within like three days. Uh, big fan of this one. It's probably going to end up being my book of the year. Maybe, possibly. Don't hold me to that. So, next up, uh, one that people uh, have been recommending to me forever. And if you're the person who has commented like six times on six different videos for me to buy it, I finally bought it. <laughs> Perfume by Patrick Zuskind. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce his name or not. I'm hot, y'all. All right, uh, so this is Perfume, a story of a murderer. I am that far. <laughs> I am 151 pages out of 255, so I'll probably have this done either tomorrow or the next day. I am liking it okay so far. Um, I'll talk to you guys more when uh, when I do my review. I do have some problems with it. It's not as perfect as I've heard it is, but uh, it was really good for a while. <laughs> Whew, I, okay, next up we have... I'm going to go ahead and do these two. Uh, my buddy Richard, uh, who's been teaching in China... He sent me Red Sorghum by Mo Yan. Okay? Uh, he said this is his favorite book by a Chinese author. So, favorite Chinese book. And then he sent me this. We've already talked about this in two other videos. But uh, this is It by Stephen King, the Chinese translated version. And my new precious. Anyway, this thing is awesome. And if you notice, <laughs> if you watch the, uh, the Thursday Theorist, It in Chinese looks like E. So, I'm an idiot. Okay, so next up, <laughs> we have uh, The Apache Wars by Paul Andrew Hutton. Uh, I am a quarter Native American. My father was half, his father was full-blooded, his father was chief of his tribe. But uh, I don't talk too much about it because there's not, I don't have too much knowledge of that history of my side of the family and my dad was not a good not was not a great individual if I can find the picture without going through there it is hang on y'all so this is I don't know if you can see him but this is my dad so you can see a little more and that's my mom's old Stephen King collection in the background so but uh, we'll talk about that one of these days if I ever get around to it. But I'm always I'm always looking for uh, Native American stories, uh, history, any of that stuff. Um, something I do kind of on my side time. I don't really put too much effort behind it. But uh, this one is interesting. It's the Hunt for Geronimo, the Apache Kid, the Hunt for Geronimo, the Apache Kid, and the captive boy who started the longest war in American history. So yeah. Also, it's a really cool cover. I like the the colors on it. I think I got this at the library for. 50 cents? Maybe it, maybe it's even as low as a quarter. I'm not sure. Next up, we got one that I, I said I'd never buy unless I could find it super cheap. This was 50 cents at the thrift shop. Yo Nesba's Cockroaches. This is one of the first Harry Hule, um, Hule, that hole, your mind's out together. Uh, one of the first uh, Harry Hule 
books. Um, and suppose I think this one's in Singapore, but supposedly the the first two aren't that good. The bat and cockroaches um, are supposed to be pretty awful, actually. But it's for the collection. All for things for the collection. Um, next up, I'm going to do I'm gonna move these over so I can get to the library stuff I got, and these will be going back. Of course, they are actual library books. Uh, Noir by Christopher Moore. I love Christopher Moore stuff. The dude is hilarious, but he's not really someone that that I'm willing to pay a whole lot for because I have to be in a certain, I have to be in a special mood for humor um, in writing. I only read probably maybe one or two humor books of uh, a, a year, really. I want I almost said a month, but that's nowhere near true. Um, so this one looks very weird. It's almost like an alien fingers over here. And, I mean, he, he always does, like, parodies of time frames, so I'm guessing this one's the old, like, the old gangster or uh, detective novels. So I'm looking forward to that one. Next up, this one is for a buddy read with Jen Bernardini and J.B. Taylor of Taylor Talks. They're both YouTubers, both great. I'll leave links down to their channels down there. Go follow them, stalk them, all that good stuff. Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell, a novel by Susanna Clark. This Joker is a monster. It looks like it's a thousand pages, and I thought it was, but it's not. It's only 782 pages, but it's got, like, footnotes and all these kinds of weird stuff. But it's about magicians. That's all I know about it. Y'all, I'm so hot. Okay, next up. This one I bought for just cover love. Um, I saw this, and I was like, ooh, I need to have this on my shelf. This is The Blackbirds by Eric Jerome Dickey. Uh, I have absolutely no idea what this is about, other than it's about four, four ladies named uh, Kwanzaa Brown, Indigo, not even going to get in trouble trying to pronounce that last name, Destiny Jones, and Erica Stockwell. Um, and there's some cheating going on, there's all them kinds of stuff. I'm thinking it's a, uh, I'm thinking it's drama, something like that. And this dude just looks like he can write his, his backside off. Uh, he looks just chill as hell, and just him and this cover make me want to read this book. Um, when I will get to it, I have no idea, um, because it's probably a lot of romance and just, you know, like I said, drama. So I have to be in a certain type of mood for that, just like with the humor. But, uh, yeah, look at that cover, though! Look at it! Good God! That is gorgeous! Alright, next up. We have, I'm going to get the other one, just get this out of the way, because you guys already saw it. This is The Anomaly by Michael Rutger. I got um, this one from Book of the Month Club and you already know about that one. Uh, next up we have two pieces of literary fiction. Um, I think they're postmodern authors. They might not be, I'm not too uh, up to date on what a postmodern <laughs> novel is. I called, one, uh, I called a book postmodern a uh, couple months back and somebody said that's not postmodern. I was like okay I'm sorry I didn't mean to offend your your fragile sensibilities. So I got uh, Purity by Jonathan Franzen. I am, <laughs> this is going to sound horrible, but I'm a, I'm a big fan of Jonathan Franzen as a person because he, he's an asshole. And anybody who, it's kind of like uh, Harlan Ellison, may he rest in peace. Um, he just passed recently, um, if you're watching this video in, you know, in the future, far, far future. Um, Jonathan Franzen is uh, pretty famous for saying on being part of Oprah's book club and saying that he was, he said something like, let's face it, I'm a better author, I'm a better writer than Michael Crichton. Um, and he's just really full of himself, and I like anybody who can back up their, their, I mean, you're not pretentious if you're actually a genius, right? I mean, that's, that's, that's the truth. So, um, Purity by Jonathan Franzen, I've only read one thing from him, but I, but I liked it, and I now have all of his stuff. By the way, this one and The Blackbirds were on sale at Books A Million. Blackbirds was five bucks and this one was five dollars. Um, and then going into the last book, which is Michael Chabon's Moon Glow. I read Wonder Boys, love it. I also have Telegraph Avenue, um, but this one was on sale, <laughs> it's upside down, uh, for seven dollars at Books A Million and I had to have it because, I mean, look at that cover. Once again, it's just cover love. Um, I get in so much trouble and running out of space just because of some beautiful ass covers. Anywho, so that's everything for this month. What is it? June? Yeah, that's everything for June. So until next time, 
I have been E, you have been you. Oh, and if you want to leave your own list of books, what you got, leave them down in the doobly-doo. Talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.